Good afternoon, YouTubers. It's Uncle Dave with DC's Adventures, and I'm coming at you with a uh, another follow-up review on a product I've had for about a year, a little over a year now, and uh, some goods and some bads about it. We'll see. Uh, we'll talk about it in a second here. Take a look at it, and the product that we're looking at today is my Apollo Powerad. This is a battery pack for recharging your cell phone out in the field. Uh, Work for tablet too, apparently, is what it says. Um, it's 10,000 uh, amps. It works with a micro USB 5 volt, 1.5 amp. And the solar charger is 5 volt, 200 MA max. And the output the USB 1 is 5 volts slash. 1 3 amps max and the USB 2 is 5 volts slash 2.1 amps max and here's what that says right there made in China okay so 10,000 10,000 uh, I don't know MAH which I think is uh mega amps or something or megahertz amps I'm not really sure what it stands for but it's 10,000 all right that's a pretty big unit for 10,000 and that's because it has this solar panel on it well this solar panel is why I bought this because I thought okay I can charge my phones up you can charge this in the wall you plug this in just to a regular um, uh, charger the same one that fits into my uh, cell phone fits right into here and you can charge this thing up all right before you leave to go out in the woods so you charge it up it has full charge it, it has these little lights right here and they're lighting up right now because that's just telling you that the solar panel is picking up power right now but when you charge this at home all four of those will be lit up and it will mean it's fully charged all right so then you go out into the field and me personally I don't have a fancy smartphone so I'm probably one of the few cavemen alive uh, around still that doesn't have a fancy smartphone. I have this LG flip phone piece of junk, but it actually works when I'm pretty deep in the woods. So I always like keeping this one on. And uh, that that PowerAd 10,000 will charge that phone. I've gone out into the woods for a full month and not turned the phone off and charged it three or four times on that. And if I'm not using it, then I can definitely, I can get eight charges on my phone with that power ad, which is pretty good. But a regular smartphone's probably only going to be able to charge their phone three, four times max. And you're only going to be able to charge a tablet once. But in my experience, I could never get this to charge my tablet. I left my um, iPad 2 attached to this thing while it being in the sun for... A whole day and it just drained the power ad and didn't add it only added like less than 10% to my tablet so I don't use this for my tablet but I have found that it works great for my phone and I just spent the last six weeks out in the woods up at my camp with no power and no nothing and I charged my phone with that the whole time that was just using the battery pack though the solar panel on this thing isn't very good either like I uh I've left this out in full sun for 3 full days and the most I've gotten is to charge this battery halfway. But if you charge this battery halfway, like I said, I can charge my phone two or three times off of that. So it does serve its purpose. If I bring this out in the woods with my phone, it will charge itself fast enough to keep my phone charged indefinitely. So it works for my phone, which is why I've kept this product and I uh I like it, but um if I could do it again, PowerAd has has a device that's half the size of this. That's 24,000 uh, mega amps or whatever it is there. And I would be able to charge my phone for three months with that. And this thing will hold a charge for up to three months. And I've tested that. I've charged this and then let it sit around for three months and then used it for a full month and it worked fine. They do suggest that every three months you check it and plug it in and that you should try to use it too within those three months. So um, 
the, the battery is just being used and being recharged and stuff regularly because if you just set it on the shelf for a year it could uh, I think damage the battery that's inside somehow but like I said for PowerAd, PowerAd makes a much smaller unit that just doesn't have a solar panel on it and since this solar panel really doesn't work fast enough for me personally I would uh, probably go with one of the the bigger power ads. It's actually a smaller unit but has uh, a lot more power in it. Almost three times as much power. I have an anchor an anchor solar panel that I use out here too and my anchor solar panel will charge that after two or three days of being out in full sun it will charge that thing fully. So I do that sometimes. So with the two devices I can get everything charged. I was disappointed though that when I plugged it in, because it even has a, t a place for your tablet, when I plugged my tablet in this just did not charge my tablet. Even, even if I had the device in full sun with four full bars, it would just work all day long and then I'd come back and the tablet would have maybe 3-4% gain and the power ad would be empty. So, in general, this has worked out really good for me. I don't know. I have to, I'm going to have a friend come up soon here, actually, and I'll have him use his, uh, he has a nice smartphone. He has a Galaxy uh, S6 or something, and I'm going to have him plug that in, and we'll see how much battery it takes off of this. But uh, for me, this has worked out really good. But again, like I said, if I was going to tell someone else to go and buy a PowerAd product, I probably wouldn't tell them to get the solar panel on it unless they're planning on being out for months at a time and they need something that can slowly trickle charge so you can just keep phones on. This does work for that. I've used this. I just used this the past six weeks and I have not plugged this into the wall. I've, my phone's been charged the whole time and I still have three bars on it and this is the first time I've put it out in the sun is today. So all in all good Pratt package. Oh something else you know it has this little hook so you can hook it onto your pack and when you're walking and hiking the trail especially if you're above the tree line it'll be charging the whole time so that's good too you can always have it charging on your backpack and it also features this light here which if you hold the light you have to hold the button down and then it will come on you have to hold it down until it comes on and that's so it doesn't come on in your backpack but I have had this come on in my backpack once and then uh, gone to use it and had the battery almost completely died so that's another thing. The other PowerAd products don't feature a light. This is just because this is kind of a backpacking accessory or an outdoors type unit. PowerAd makes much uh, more powerful units that are smaller that don't have flashlights on it so you're not taking the chance of having all of your power run out on you just because the flashlight came on in your backpack. So these things are things to consider. Um, it's cool having it, but it's just such a big unit. So as far as the conclusion to this follow-up review is, I like it. It's a great product, but all in all, the solar panel just really isn't producing enough power for how big and how much bulk it adds to the unit. And uh, yeah, 24,000 opposed to 10,000, and the 24,000 is half the size and half the weight of this. So again, Uncle Dave with DC's Adventures, thank you for joining me on this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.